Hi everyone, thank you for tuning in and welcome to the Kedron Factory. So today we're going to have a run through Dan and Julie's 20 foot 6 Kedron XC5. So this one here has the Island Queen bed at the front. It has the centre club dinette with kitchen opposite. And then the full ensuite separate shower toilet at the rear. So beautiful setup here for Dan and Julie, all hitched up to the popular LC200, the Land Cruiser 200 series. This one is riding on the Kedron KRS suspension in the coil with drum brakes. So the unique recovery stub suspension for the Kedron owners. We might pop straight inside and have a look at the layout and the colours. This one here is in that really nice earthy tone. So great colour choices here by Dan and Julie. I'll step back here and just showcase. So it has that nice mocha in the cabinets on the front, wrapping up into a nice slate marble look in that laminate. Large stainless sink there. So beautiful size bowl and drain area and also features the separate filtered drinking water to the washing up water in the flick mixer. Has the mocker in the splashback, a nice large window there, can double up as a serving window to so someone out in the annex area. Two dual 240 volt outlets on this side of the kitchen underneath LED lighting, range hood, more LED lighting and more power outlets. Above here, the stainless steel brackets on the side of the microwave to secure in nice and the electronics heartland on the inside here for the Kedrons. Top left are the controls for the rooftop aircon up top here, as well as that instant gas hot water system on the outside. To the right of this, Pioneer head unit, CD, USB and Bluetooth. Some main shutoffs there for the power. In the center here, the Cymarine will give readouts for the state of charge for that 300 amp lithium power pack. We'll also showcase the temperature of the external electronics box. Water level indicators for drinking shower and the grey water. And then the input amps from the solar and the vehicles DC to DC. Below this are the controls for the inverter charger. And then either side the press button circuit resetters. Swiveling down and to the right here are some welcome gifts, some bubbles and chockies to celebrate the new van. Left of this here is the new style fan forced Tetford oven. So it has a separate oven, griller and then three gas burners and one 240 element plate here as well. Back up top is the vast box and controls for the auto tracking satellite dish on the roof. So at the press of a button, that dish will go up, swivel around and lock in the satellites for the sat TV. The TV on the inside swivels back to the club dinette as well as to that island queen bed at the front of the van. Some welcome gifts there on top of the Australian made deluxe pocket spring mattress so a super comfortable mattress they're all locally made on the inside here are recessed pockets for putting the likes of your wallets watches phones purses has the usb outlets to charge phones either side 12 volt led lighting the fabric in the washed suede look in that micro leather certainly looks the part and that all complements in with the micro leather on that large club dinette. The club dinette has that adjustable table so they can move in, out, left, right, and it also goes down. And when that goes down underneath the bed here, in that linen recess above the pullout drawers is an infill cushion. So that then turns this into another bed. So nice and easy to do so. Dan and Julie, in lieu of having the lift up leg extensions, have gone for the pull out drawers. So, some metal sided roller drawers here for additional storage. Next to that, in the stained timber, and that all wraps up and pulls in with that stained American oak. Above the club dinette, here are the variable speed fans with the sleep timer, and there's one either side of the bed as well. 
large window above that club dinette allows for your maximum view and ventilation or have that up like it is or the foil down I should say and that gives the utmost amount of privacy and insulation some welcome gifts there with the coffee mugs tactical pans key rings open up in between the fridge freezer and the club dinette is a pantry space here so two doors three shelves and nice and deep at almost an arm's length Underneath this here are some further pull-out metal-sided deep drawers. We'll just close this. So the entrance to the shower toilet itself is that full height in the mirrored entrance door. So certainly opens the feel of the van up, very much so. And this one here features a Tetford in the compressor fridge freezer. So the two-door compressor fridge freezer here and it has four 180 watt panels up top that are feeding into that 300 amp lithium power pack. Open up the mirrored entrance door and you can see the amount of storage there in the ensuite. Beautiful amount of storage, bench space, ceramic bowl sink with a flick mixer tap, mirror space up above the splash back and then that wall mount of washing machine there also features a noggin in between the interlocked aluminium frame behind so it gives beautiful strength there especially for the off-road travel second diesel heater outlet provides a warm ensuite when you wish to have it as well as a drying room if you wish to use it for that as well recess toilet roll holder there recess towel rail holders and I will lift up and swivel around this has a separate entrance door into the shower has a slip and crack resistant alloy base there, all locally powder coated, and also has that dye bond aluminium wall in the shower space as well. Flick mixer, shower head, additional ventilation in there, and then the additional LED lighting. Up top here is the filtered compression hatch. So the filtered compression hatch here is designed registered for the Kedron owners to have the ability, the unique ability, to access that washable Australian made filter on the inside of that. So that can drop down, access it inside, wash it, dry it and slide it back in all from the inside of the caravan itself. So nice and easy access. All right, we'll pop outside and we'll have a quick walk around the outside of the van and then we will let Dan and Julie get set for us helping to pack down and going for a test tow to adjust the electric brakes and make sure everything's all towing spot on and they're confident in the adjustment of the brakes and how things are towing before they set off on their way home padded cover over that 12 volt power jack this here has the twin nine kilos behind that alloy powder coated box ventilated out underneath for the gas code and an access up top to be able to easily access and turn those nine kilo gas bottles on and off on and off as Dan and Julie pleased to do in front of that the blue weight distribution hitch here generally indicates a towing upgrade on the LC 200 to 4 ton inside that CAD designed Australian made box here unique for the Kedron owners with our design there's a lockable diesel filler a-frame tap moved up nice and accessible, diesel heater in set and well protected. On the protection note, genuine Rhino coating on the front scrub plates there. Up top here features the alloy laser cut Kedron box. So this here all locally will be designed all of these in-house to suit each model. So they're all CAD design, laser cut and been powder coated here locally as well. Design registered on that front lift up awning as we've developed the boxes. We've seen styles very similar. So the likes of the front awning when we go through developments, we do design register these. So they're unique for the Kedron owners. So if the opposition or the importers go to copy it, that is protected there with that design registration. Inside this slide out box here on the side is the portable barbecue provision on the slide out box with storage behind. To the left is the steel encased lithium power pack in the 300 amp. 
This also features the track there, so you can see this tracking here is for the rollout walls. So we have an Aussie Traveller Annex on this one, I've seen, is already done. Down on the side, the Kedron Load Rated Alloys, Goodyear Wrangler in the Dura tracks there, so the quality tyres underneath the van, you can see the hot dip galvanised shine there. Utmost amount of peace of mind for the Kedron owners with internal and external hot dip galvanised protection. Protection plates in front of the Kedron KRS arms there as well. This one here is riding on the coil springs and drum brakes. Again, the KRS in the recovery stub is design registered also unique for the Kedron owners and has been all physically ram tested, lab tested and certified. In front of this are the Australian made water tanks food grade. So they're not just a cheaper imported tank with whatever plastic that your drinking water may be sitting in. These here are made by a local family business that do a lot of domestic and agricultural tanks as well. So beautiful peace of mind there as well for the Kedron owners with their food grade water tanks. So we'll step back outside. This has the external TV provisions there. Nice Kedron punch into that aluminium die bond. Gives a nice Kedron touch there on the side. XC5 triple lock in the entrance door, the lockable doors on these, dual spares on the rear, has the outside shower in between the two spares on the rear of the van. Pole carrier in the black is nice and accessible and very handy indeed. And then the Kedron badging with the reverse camera inset on the back in between the XC5 and the Kedron logo. These here also feature volume, so you can actually talk, you can turn your volume up on the screen on your dash and you can hear whoever is behind talking to you as well. So they're not just visual, they also have audio. And just turn that down when you're traveling on the road. Access door to the cassette toilet, access door for servicing, if ever need be for the instant hot water system, grey water tank outlet there. So nice and convenient to get to hold your shower and your washing up water if you're in an eco-sensitive area. And then to the electronics heartland on the outside. Two press buttons, stainless buttons to seal that off. When Dan and Julie do so, there is a thermostat controlled fan when that switch is set to auto and that will keep things nice and within the operating temperatures for all the electronics on the side. Generally, most of the time when traveling on Bitumen Road, these will stay open to provide a nice ventilation for the electronics in there as well. Anderson plug outlets on the outside of the van. This black one here indicates that is for a roving solar panel. So if it's a black Ando plug on the Kedron, it is designed for input or additional solar to be going in to help charge through the regulator into the lithium power pack. If they're gray, they're for drawing the power out. And we'll wrap around the front and just showcase the LC200 all hitched up. So it's all set up there with the roof rack, the extension mirrors and the clear view. Front bar, and I won't hold Dan and Julie up much longer. They've been very patient, we thank them for this to be able to showcase their beautiful new package here that they will hopefully be setting off around Australia in when it's safe to do so. All right, everyone, thank you once again for tuning in. We will wrap it up and let Dan and Julie get set to head home and pack up and look forward to their travels down the track. On behalf of all the Gould family and the whole Kedron team here, thank you very much for tuning in and all the wonderful support here in Australia and to our great friends in America, Canada, Europe, and all around the world. And we might catch up with Dan and Julie on the track someday. If not, we might catch up with you on the next walkthrough. Thanks again all, stay safe, all the very best, and bye for now.
Yeah.